I hope this doesn't get demonetized. I hope I can show this. Hello everybody and welcome back to my original room. I filmed so many videos here, it has been a long time since I filmed a video here, but today we're back. I'm not quite sure why my hair is doing this little flip thing. <laughs> Ignore that. Now, before I go into showing everything that I got for Christmas and my birthday, I just wanted to say I am very grateful for everything. Um, I don't mean this as a comparison of presents by any means. I just know I enjoy watching other people's hauls because then I get ideas for things I should ask for the next year or things I should give other people. And it's just kind of fun. And I'm really excited to use every single thing that I got. So my birthday is two days after Christmas, which means that I kind of have like both of them all at once. So let's get started. All right, so my big gift, every year we get like one big Christmas gift, and this year my big gift was a Kindle. I haven't been reading a ton during college, but I read a ton as a kid and even in high school. And I've been reading a lot more, and I've been bringing books with me on campus, which usually is not just one book, it's two books, so my back is quite literally breaking. I am pumped for this. My mom also got me this case to put on it and I will get some heavy use out of this thing. Now we have everything in my stocking life cereal. Tradition's going strong with this one. And the other tradition we always get with that cereal is a Martinelli or some sort of like sparkling drink. And I like this one better. It's the Wilch's Strawberry. So this is the drink that I got this year. This one was new this year. I think my dad went to Costco and picked them out. <laughs> and it's this from Costco. I did try it, it's yummy. So I highly recommend them. Toothbrush, toothpaste, gum, a loofah, some Smart Sweets. I love this stuff. My dad he literally went to the mall and went to Bath and Body Works and like picked out each scent. <laughs> so I got pineapple mango and it smells delicious. Then just various candies and stuff to fill the rest of the stocking. All right, the next gift is one that is coveted. And if you're watching my other siblings Christmas haul, I guarantee you they're gonna use that word at least once. So watch them and report back here if they also say coveted because I bet you they will. But my dad makes homemade beef jerky, but he made me turkey jerky, which he only does like once a year, maybe ish and everybody eats it so fast. So I got my own bag of turkey jerky. That bag might not last that long, is all I'm saying. All right, now onto the sibling gifts. Brooklyn's gift to me was a passport cover. She actually got all of us one of these that are all personalized, so mine's blue. I will definitely get my use out of this. Now, Dakota got me this, which is like a cooking camping set. It has a kettle, a pot, and a pan and it's so small, like, look at this. It's all compact, it has all three of those, basically everything you would need to cook in the winter, or in, <laughs> everything you would need to cook while camping. A lot of the stuff I'm getting this year is to kind of build this like a capsule collection of things that I can use outdoor. And so I love gifts like this where it's definitely stuff I'll use now, but it's stuff I'll also use in like 40 years still camping. And on top of that, Brooklyn and Dakota got me another gift for my birthday which is this, <laughs> which you probably have no idea what this is because I also did it. For a second when I opened it, I thought it was like one of those play like squish things. But essentially what these are is they're reusable hand warmers. Um, and right now we've used them. So that's why they're like this color, but before they're kind of like squishy, but essentially you click this little metal thing and then they get warm. But then when you want to reuse them, you just put them in hot water and they like melt back down to whatever they were. I don't know, there's some chemical science here. I will definitely bring these with me on the mountain of Everest. Bailey and Asa gave me a joint gift this year and I have been wanting for a while to get my car detailed. So they were super nice and they combined their gift to me to pay for me to get my car detailed. So that's one I can't show here, but I will be doing when I get back home. Rylan's gift to me is not here yet. I've been wanting like a nicer watch that I can wear to interviews or just nicer things that I have to dress up for. But here's a picture of it. And yeah, it's honestly one of my favorite gifts this year. Daxton's gift was super thoughtful. He knows how much I like reusable things and things that are very clean, but it's essentially a visor clip that goes on in your car, like on the little sun flip thing. Um, and it's an air freshener and it smells delicious. This scent is musk, amber, pepper, teak, and cedar. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, <laughs> that bag just really <laughs> ripped. <laughs> All right, last sibling gift is from Paisley. She was very excited about this one. And it's a dog bowl. So essentially it's a water bottle that you can take, but then you unscrew this bottom part 
and it turns into a dog bowl. Now, moving on, we have some stuff that other people might not be super excited about, but for me, I'm extremely excited about it. But the first of this collection is some scrubs. So I got a black pair and I also got a blue pair that has like orange ties. Then I got this Netter's Anatomy book. If you've ever taken anatomy, you know that this is like the golden standard of anatomy. It's a really cool book. It has a lot of information in it, a lot of really detailed diagrams, and it came with a digital version too. Now I also asked for a coffee table book that I think is so cool, and it's called Immune, and it's basically like the story of everything that keeps you alive, and the illustrations in it are so cool. There's somebody coughing. <laughs> then I got one more book that, oh, this is maybe one of the best gifts I'm ever gonna get in my entire life. And it's Grey's Anatomy. And no, this is not based off of the show. Actually, the show is based off of this because Grey's Anatomy is basically like the Bible of anatomy. It basically is like a giant dictionary with these crazy diagrams, first of all. Um, but also just like every single body part that you could ever imagine. And it's just a beautiful book. Like they did an incredible job with the illustrations and it just looks so cool. So this is one of books that I'm definitely gonna hold on to and maybe one day even put in my office on a shelf somewhere. Now a practical gift that I asked for this year is this coat. It's a like trench coat. And if y'all saw my Instagram post, I was in DC and I actually wore this exact coat, but it was my mom's coat and everybody loved it. So now I know where it's from. I can link it for everybody who was asking me in my DMs. I also got this book stamp. I decided that I would use them on the Kindle because they're a lot cheaper on the Kindle and read a bunch of books. And then if I love them, I'll buy the hardcover copies as trophies from the library of K.Y. McKnight. This is a gift from my mom and it is clean laundry detergent. Clean ingredients, better for you and organic. It's kind of like Tide Pods, but better. Essentially, they're these little sheets that look like a piece of gum, like a giant piece of gum. They smell wonderful. But all you do is you just stick this in your laundry with all your clothes and when it gets wet, it turns into soap. Then I got this sharpening stone from my mom, but also to sharpen these two things, which is going to go in my collection of outdoor stuff to be used, um, or just, you know, if anything ever happens, I'll have these if I need them. A hatchet or an ax, I guess. I don't know what the difference is. Definitely we've had, I almost smacked my eye. It's good thing that this is in a cover. I think you can never be too prepared and it's always good to have stuff like this on hand because you actually never know when you're gonna need it. And also I just go camping and stuff a ton. So this will get its use. And then she also got us these machetes, um, but this one has a lot of different uses. I'll show you, I put a bow on mine because I wanted it to be more girly. It has like this saw part of it, so I could like saw some wood and stuff. And then it just has a bunch of different uses. I think one of those gifts that you hope you never have to use, but if you do, I'm glad you have it. I love it. I think it's super cool. So those are two kind of random ones, but I'm very grateful for them. And I, I think I would be grateful for them if I ever had to use them. Some ribbons that my mom collected from various department stores. Um, because she found out that they'll give them to you for free if you ask for them. Gucci, Nell, <laughs> Louis Vuitton, another Gucci one in here. Because she knows that ribbons are very in right now, but they just like look fancy. So it's kind of like this big hack that I'm telling y'all, but don't tell everybody else. Now the last gift, I hope you guys understand because if you don't, you did not have a childhood. When we were kids, we played like little computer games all the time. They like basically taught me how to read, but there was also some fun ones like I Spy. And I swear I would sit in front of this computer and play these games for hours and I guess my parents somehow found the games they got each of us three so we I got this reader rabbit um, for ages six through nine I spy mystery and I got I spy school days where in the world is Carmen San Diego the twins and I could not beat this game and I'm wondering if I play it now if it's actually gonna be super easy and it was just because we were like eight years old that we couldn't do it and that is it for my haul this year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Um, like I said, this is not meant to be a comparison by any means. It's just fun to show and you know, appreciate what you got and uh, gain some ideas for what you want next year. I think it's a fun tradition to do this every year. But a big thank you to everybody who got me everything for my birthday and Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. I hope you had a wonderful time with your families or with friends or whatever, however you celebrated this year. And I will see y'all 
next year. Applause for that joke. Okay, for real. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Thanks for watching.